All right, good afternoon. Uh, we're here to talk about an incident that occurred this morning shortly before 9 a.m. Uh, deputies responded to Ashley Drive in Violet, a call of a armed robbery. Uh, deputies arrived pretty quick and they met with a female victim. Uh, she's 25 years old who stated that she was here down in St. Benoit Parish in the Violet area uh, in an attempt to sell some electronics to a male that contacted her on social media on Ashley Drive. Uh, when she exited a vehicle, she was approached by a male who asked her to enter a side gate of a residence. They did so. As soon as she got through the side gate, a, the perpetrator uh, brandished a weapon, and at that point, he made her go towards the back of the house and sexually assaulted the uh, victim. Uh, after he completed the sexual assault, the perpetrator fled the scene in the victim's car. Uh, when deputies arrived, they discovered uh, the victim who described the vehicle that was taking, uh, put an immediate broadcast out. Uh, deputies shortly identified the vehicle going down St. Bernard Highway towards Araby. At that point, we attempted to stop the vehicle and the vehicle fled into New Orleans. Uh, several attempts to disable the vehicle with stop sticks failed. The pursuit continued from St. Claude on the Tennessee Street and then entered the Claiborne Bridge in a westbound direction. While at, on top of the bridge, the vehicle uh, was involved in an accident uh, involving two other vehicles. At that point, the vehicle became disabled. Uh, our deputies made a tactical response and entry to the vehicle where we discovered the perpetrator of the uh, crime uh, in the vehicle with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Uh, deputies removed the perpetrator from the vehicle, uh, attempted to uh, provide some, some uh, aid to him, and called for EMS immediately. Uh, shortly afterwards, EMS arrived and he was pronounced dead on the scene. The uh, perpetrator uh, has been identified uh, as a DeAndre Brock. Uh, I think he's 27 years old. Uh, he has some ties to St. Bernard, but I think he was currently living outside of St. Bernard, I think in Ascension Parish. Did, did anybody else get hurt during the accident? Uh, I don't believe anybody was seriously injured during the chase. Uh, one of the vehicles that was involved was a uh, an 18-wheeler, I believe, and, and maybe a, a DOTD vehicle that was up on a bridge as well. Can you describe the stolen vehicle? The vehicle was a white Mitsubishi SUV, uh, I think a 2023 20, model maybe. And so he did not know the woman, just reached out to her through social media? And, and just, you know, remember this, this, this is in very preliminary stages of this investigation. There's a lot of information that needs to be verified at this point in time, but uh, the information that we currently have that we don't believe the victim, according to her, knew this suspect and just your reaction to this happening um i know you were saying well, that this is the first carjacking of the year yeah we we, we recorded one carjacking uh in st bernard parish last year and this is the first one this year this is very unusual this type of violent crime uh, in st bernard parish it's not just a carjack and the most disturbing part is a sexual assault on on a, a young female victim that's the most disturbing part and it was done at gunpoint uh and then to follow up as as a the carjack and uh, you know I, you never want these things to turn out <clears throat> the way they turn out uh, but but that part is what it is uh, but, but uh, you know, I want to commend the, the response of our deputies uh, not just getting to the scene quickly and, and rendering aid to the victim but a quick uh, response to locating the vehicle pursuing the vehicle and bringing this to an end did yeah. any deputies fire any shots deputies did not fire any shots what was the nature of the crash? How many cars were involved? I, I, it appears to be uh, the, the uh, victim's vehicle driven by the suspect, uh, an 18-wheeler and a uh, Department of Transportation vehicle that I believe was up on the bridge uh, doing work. Did he rear-end them? Or uh, kind of cut in front of the 18-wheeler uh, and rear-ended the, the uh, Department of Transportation vehicle. What was their response? What was their nature? And like, when they were up there, are they all okay? 
I, I think they're all okay uh, from the reports that I have. Uh, I don't know if anybody required any medical attention, but I only can imagine what their response was. This is, uh, you know, a police action, a crash, uh, you know, someone shot dead on the scene. I can imagine what their reaction would be. Did he have any priors in St. Uh, he, we will give you the uh, the rap sheet. It's it's pretty extensive from what my uh, detectives are telling me. Do you have a, a mugshot? Of we we do. That you can maybe yep, share? we will. Okay. Yeah. Um, and just when it comes to the victim, um, I know we talked about it before, but if you could talk about her um, condition right now. Yeah. All, all I know is that you know uh, <clears throat> it's has. We all know that would be a very traumatic uh, situation. Uh, we believe that she resisted the assault. Uh, so currently she's at uh, a local hospital being treated for uh, all the above. When you saw the car being towed off the bridge right before the bridge was reopened, it looked like there was some bullet holes or something through the windshield. Can you explain? Did, I know there was a substance with this gun. Right, and that's pretty observant of you guys. But it, it appears that that shot uh, was coming from inside the vehicle, outside the vehicle. I can't explain why or how that happened, but, but we do know that that it appears that a, a, a round that was fired from inside the vehicle, and, and they also have, uh, you know, a gunshot wound to his head. So we wouldn't have any information on what he might have been shooting at then? Oh, and you will probably never have that answer. Uh, you know, all we can all we can see is that it was uh, a round that came from inside the vehicle, outside the vehicle. We can speculate, but we really wouldn't know. The only one knows is him. And About how many times would you say there was? I guess how many rounds fired? was fired inside the car? I don't know, Chad. You know, two or three. Two or three. Two or three. What kind of drugs were involved? Drugs? No drugs? Not, not that I'm aware of. Do you have a message for safety of people that want to meet up online? Yeah, you know, if you you know selling things, you know, and this has been reported many many times because this happens. You know, uh, most of the time it it happens as a robbery. Sometimes it ends up in a murder. Uh, this one ended up in a sexual assault. Uh, but there's meeting places, there's safe places that you can go, uh, including our substations uh, at the Sheriff's Office here in St. Bernard Parish is a safe place. Uh, if you're selling things, you, you know that comes with a risk, particularly if you're going to go into an unfamiliar area uh, to try to sell things. Uh, this is, you know, a, a, a thing that, that you put yourself at risk. So, so be mindful of that if you're going to sell anything online and you're going to go to you know, unknown areas to you, meet unknown people, just have them meet you in a safe place, including uh, a well-lit area, a well-trafficked -tra area, or a police station, or some areas that's already designated as a, a meeting place for that. To clarify, it was just him in the car, there was nobody else? <laughs> he, he was the only one in the car, yes, sir. And to further clarify, there was the shot to himself, the shot outside of the vehicle, but there would have been no other Right, by, by anyone other than the person inside the vehicle. Uh, the, the deputies didn't fire any, any uh, they didn't even approach the vehicle right away. They made a tactical approach and they did that with a tactical shield and, and stuff like that. But, but there was no shots fired at the vehicle uh, during the pursuit. Uh, there was no shots fired at the vehicle on the scene of the crash. So uh, the only thing that we can see is what appears to be you know rounds from five from inside the vehicle outside the vehicle not sure why that happened or how it happened it from inside out going out right okay yeah and just for clarity if you could um i guess spell his name we will have deandre brock i don't know how to spell deandre but but when we give you the paperwork it's going to have all the correct spellings of his name Yep, uh, Jimmy, J-I-M-M-Y, Pullman, P-O-H-L-M-A-N-N. -N.